this. I'm gonna wrap the bumpers. Uh, they're not too difficult. I got inlays in here. <laughs> Today's a great day, Anthony. Why is that? Because you're wearing a sweater. <laughs> I know. I miss wearing my sweaters, man. Bro, because all I'm... winter, I love. I, oh man, I just love wearing sweats and and sweaters, man. It was, it was literally like the same black sweats that he was wearing. But they were fire, though. Yeah, why, you, why, you, why you gotta call me out? They nah, were the same ones? Nah, no, nah, yeah, of course I, not. I wash them every day. No, nah, yeah, of course not. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I meant they were the same pair, just... Nah, I, I literally <laughs> had three to four of the same pair of sweats because they're so, like, they're dope sweats. Like, I wish I was wearing them right now. What is he rambling he's about over here? Too. What are you rambling about? Where, where, where? Sweater weather, man. Sweater, sweater weather. <laughs> um, every day when we come in, we kind of formulate our plan. We just walked in the door. It is... 9 30 10 a.m getting our day started here you see all the cars are still in the bay um my personal car here dirty needs to get out because it's not making us any money here we need to work on the builds over here that are actually are the projects that are bringing money so you got the super wrapped in midnight purple over here and we also have it hey do me a favor go f yourself uh, we got another super over here <laughs> <laughs> getting done in a full printed wrap so full printed wrap on that super back over there the gray one um, it's been taken apart and should be getting started in the next day or so so we do plan on documenting that entire project then over here you got the infamous c8 second c8 we've had in here guys so the last c8 we did is the uh, satin black wide body this one is going i don't know what color we're wrapping this one i hope we're not doing it satin black but no it's cousin Oh, it's cousin. I already know exactly what you're saying, though. So I'm assuming this one's gonna go like a dark satin gray. Okay, the cousin of satin black. Yeah, they're cousins. Yeah. You know what? As many as much people could critique, you know, the satin black. Satin black looks good on any car. I, I just, I know a lot of people don't want to see that because there's so many other colors in the color palette. But these are the guys paying for it. The guy wants to do satin gray, satin black. Let him do satin black. Does it come with all that carbon fiber stock? Uh, I don't know, dude. That thing looks mean as hell. That is actually really cool. And then you cool. can see, like, what's that red? Is that the, that's, oh, it's reflecting off of that. Yeah. I was looking at the red right there. So you got the heat shield, you got. This is tight. Dude, this is. This is a unique car, you know? So I guess, like, for me, in my opinion, Corvettes at one point, they never wore, they were never for me. Like, I was always picturing, like, some old dude driving a Corvette. And I think they shake that stigma with this car because. This looks like a Ferrari, bro. Like, it's pretty dope. Okay. So today you'll probably see this thing get ripped apart and um, get wrapped. But let's get the day started, guys. going on this thing um adrian here master installer is going to be doing the bumper first he's already done inlays if you look right here he's already laid the inlays which i like the style that you did there that was pretty cool yeah i like how you extended that one out a little bit got the corners here when it comes to these aggressive bend bumpers you got to do inlays you start with the inlays first so we're going to just jump right into this wrap um, as he did inlays taken care of now we're going to cap it wrap it and uh rear bumper will be done and then we'll move forward with the rest of the car Today, my guy. What the hell? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he said, I'm, bro, I'm just touching the car. I'm gonna wrap this whole side today. You're wrapping this uh, whole side. Yeah, I got quarter panel, I got door, I got skirt, I got fender, I got hood. Um, and I'll probably be, I'll see where I'm at after that. It's a red car, it's gonna take time.
All right, guys, we're back on the next day right here on the C8. I, I went home, got some rest. Um, so it's uh, 11 o'clock. I'm able to get a full day on this. So my goal today is uh, to do this quarter panel, this whole side. I didn't get to the other side skirt yesterday, but I'm gonna get to it soon. And then I wanna do this hatch. So you're about to see us wrap this hatch. We wrapped the hatch like this before on the other C8. Uh, it's a pretty interesting hatch. So we'll show you guys how we do it. It's just a big hatch, honestly. It's just a weird thing to wrap, but that's what I got going on for today so far. So what I have right here is the stock spoiler. Uh, the customer brought us a carbon fiber uh, aftermarket spoiler, so we're gonna be installing that. Tyler's over there, he's actually holding it right there. Brand new carbon fiber, and that thing looks sick, so hopefully it fits properly. The thing with carbon fiber is sometimes when you buy aftermarket carbon pieces, they don't always fit perfectly. And in this case, we mocked it up, and it seems like it does. So now we're gonna install it. guys so we're back on the c8 uh yesterday i just knocked out this whole side we pretty much went over that with the other side so i just went ahead and knocked it out i still need the side skirts they're a little difficult but i want to do the bumpers first just because anthony needs a lot to assembly for the bumpers so i always like to help out anthony and tyler just, i'm gonna wrap the bumpers uh they're not too difficult i got inlays in here <laughs> so like i was saying we're about to wrap this bumper right here and it's not an easy bumper, but at the same time, it's not a super bumper, so that's good. Not too many inlays. A little one in here, one up here in the bottom, or I'm sorry, on this side. And there's a little guy right here, and that's it. All right, y'all, so Adrian's back there working right now. He just finished up the other side skirt. And honestly, I gotta say, this car looks really, really good. Um, the guys know that uh, I'm kind of sick of the color um, satin dark gray, but you know what? On this car, with the accents that Adrian's about to add, it's gonna look fire. It's gonna kind of remind you guys of a Ferrari, even though it's not a Ferrari, but hey, it's still a sick car, right, Adrian? It's still a sick car. Any car that Adrian works on is like automatically sick. It could be a Prius. Actually, he did do a Prius. You did do a Prius, I just remembered that. And guess what? The Prius was sick.
we're all wrapped up with the C8. Uh, we did a full wrap in satin dark gray, the Avery version, not the 3M. We usually do the 3M, but in this case, the customer wanted the Avery, just because it does look a slight bit different, doesn't have much of a sheen to it like the Avery. But we did the two-tone, and you're probably wondering why this middle roof is still red. The customer ordered the carbon fiber uh, roof, because this roof actually comes off like a T-top, or like a target top, whatever you want to call it. So this is actually going to be carbon fiber. So hopefully the customer brings it, so we can see how the whole car looks with the whole thing blacked out. But no one's ever, I've never seen anybody with this whole two-tone thing on the, on the Corvette. So we had to pretty much make our own line right here. There's not really a body line. We just saw a picture that the customer showed us and we just tried our best to duplicate it. And honestly, I think we nailed it. We did uh, gloss black mirrors. The customer requested a gloss black hood with the fenders kind of reaching out to the pillar. And honestly, that's honestly a real cool look. It looks like Shamu for some reason. And the customer also ordered a carbon fiber front lip. So man, this car is looking real sweet in my opinion. But uh, yeah, difficulty of the project, it took me about like like four days, five days to finish this, just because of the fact that I had to wrap panels and then you know overlap them with gloss black. Uh, it wasn't too hard of a car. I feel like the most difficult part of this car is the, the rear bumper. The rear bumper is just always the most time consuming piece. Everything else was kind of much of a breeze. The front bumper was kind of difficult. See, it was kind of difficult because of these little um, like indents right here. I did have a, I did have an issue with the vinyl kind of like not failing, but just bubbling up a little bit, but I just had to post seat it really good. But other than that, the project was pretty smooth. It was just time consuming because of the whole two-tone process, but in my opinion, we did a good job on it. We had Tyler do the full disassembly, reassembly, and Anthony was assisting us. But other than that, it was just, uh, you know, just me and Anthony Tyler on this project, and we killed it.